Hi, my name is Brian Kingsley, and this is my colleague Beth Hodge, and we are from the Wake County Public School System. Let us tell you a bit about our community. Proudly, we consistently rank as one of the best places to live and work in the entire nation. Our combination of top universities and an excess of job opportunities make us a magnet for smart people and a hub for innovation. With that in mind, we know that our growth is exploding. In the net, by 2020, we expect up to 17,000 new children in our classrooms. And while our student population growth has exploded, our students' progress has not. We consistently surpass state averages in achievement, but when you unpack that and look at our students from our most disadvantaged homes, we were falling behind. We knew we needed to change. And change is what we set out to do. We set an aggressive goal for ourselves that by the year 2020, 95% of our students would not only graduate, but do so with options in their hands. So we made a plan and called that plan Vision 2020. We started by taking inventory. We wanted to ensure that this desire to change was not just held by a few members of our school system, but it was one for the entire community. It was important to all of us that we met both the immediate and the future needs of our diverse student population. Understanding the need for the four C's was unanimous. Whether a student was to enter the workforce, the military, or a two or four year degree program, we knew that possessing those skills would allow us to set up for success. We charged our community to get plugged into this call to action, and across the board, we agreed that we needed to significantly go much more deeper on student engagement, as well as skill development, and not just state accountability. We continue to take inventory of our roles, processes, and technologies to ensure that we can better understand how this work would impact our classroom. We are, in, we are committed to ensuring that all 11,000 of our teachers know and use the four C's to enhance student learning. It's with that call to action in mind that we began to change. Our superintendent, Dr. James Merrill, was firm in his call to find momentum, quick wins, and to recalibrate our strategic plan to change anything that did not show direct impact on our students and our teachers. With that in mind, we began our work. We needed the voice of our teachers and administrators at the table to guide us and ensure that we stayed classroom focused as we developed our goals and our professional learning. So with, with that in mind, we charged everyone involved to think ahead and answer the question, how can the four C's foster dynamic learning experiences? And once we answered that question, we had to consider how will we get there in the next year? So knowing that the needs of our students, of all of our students, were not being met, we decided to really focus in on how the four C's can foster learner agency, social, emotional, and digital learning. This became the foundation for our professional learning plan. So here's how we got started. We first created cross-functional design teams to help plan for our professional learning. We wanted to make sure that we brought the unique needs and experiences of multifaceted groups of people to the table to ensure that we can permeate all groups within our school district. This was our approach to flatten the knowledge hierarchy in our school system and ensure that we were intentionally focused on teachers, instructional support staff members, school and district leaders, and we were doing that for the first time all together. This was a culture shift. We initially, as these people got together, bumped up against the traditional challenges of time, infrastructure for learning, bandwidth for designing and facilitating that learning, but it was just too important to go backwards. These people challenged, they built upon, and they questioned existing and new ideas. And here's where we landed. Whether it was today or tomorrow, we will continue to question scale, speed, and tradition with our desire to reimagine, to refocus, and be innovative. We are going to continue to have to cycle back and forth of really questioning our old ways of thinking to do what's right for all kids. This is complex work worth doing. In the next 365 days, we will implement a a comprehensive learning plan to help us ensure that the four C's 
foster dynamic learning experiences throughout our entire district. We are so excited to see learner agency, social emotional learning, and digital learning come alive in our district as a result of this focus. When we stand before you 365 days from now, we will be able to tell you and show you the shifts that we are beginning to see in achievement and in learning experiences for all of our students and adults in our district. It will still be messy, complex, and hard, but the right work always is. In Wake County, we want students to graduate with multiple options in their hands. So we created a new normal. Communication, collaboration, critical thinking, and creativity. The new foundational expectation for all involved in the Wake County public school system. Thank you very much. Thank you.